Hey, how's it going, everybody? I know it's been a few days. Don't mind me. Nintendo 64 game collection. That's what this video is. So let's get started. I have some loose. I have one boxed, and I have one aftermarket box. I have a few aftermarket boxed, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's get started with Army Man Sarge's Heroes. As I said in my PS1 game collection video, I have this one on Nintendo 64. PS1, as you saw. And uh, yeah, game of my childhood. Series needs to come back. I will say it again, and I will keep saying it. Army Man, Sarge's Heroes, reboot something. That would be magnificent. And of course, we have Army Man, Sarge's Heroes 2. Again, series needs to come back. Reboot, please. Thank you. That would be fantastic. I would love it very much. Just make it for me. Please. I'll pay you. Literally. 60 bucks. 70. Whatever. I'll pay you. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Rated M, uh, M rated Nintendo 64 game. This game looks cutesy, but it is not. It is vowel, cursing, monster of poop. It's good stuff. I enjoyed this. I think this cost me 80 bucks when I got it, which I'm pretty sure it's a lot more now. I haven't checked, but I like this game a lot. Will it come to Nintendo 64 on Switch? Why not? Diddy Kong Racing. Some say which is better, Super Mario Kart or uh, Super Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, just Diddy Kong Racing. No 64 at the end of it. Uh, I don't know. I played Mario Kart 64 more than this, but I do enjoy this game as well. It's kind of a tough, tough choice. Donkey Kong 64. Yellow Kart. Good stuff. Platformer. Playing Donkey Kong. Ooh, ooh, it's good stuff. I, a lot of fun playing this. Never beat it, but I had fun. As I said before, had fun playing it. I had fun playing all these games. The ones that I can't remember, because you know me, I forget. Like this game, Forsaken 64. This came with an end label, which is pretty rad. Uh, but this game is a game on Nintendo 64. You, It's Thunder. Um, I don't remember much of this game. I think I played it for about like 10 minutes. Glover. This is an interesting little game right here. It's a Glover, obviously glove. You run around, it's a glove. You, you roll on a ball, as it looks like. And, uh, yeah, I remember having fun with this game. I don't know what other people are saying about it, but I enjoyed it. I played it for a good couple of hours. It's a fun, fun little romp of a game. GoldenEye 007. This cart, this game is awesome. This cart, for some reason, I can't go down on the menus. It's the cursor is stuck up top. But when I get to the first level, it works fine. I don't get it. But, uh, yeah, this game is rad. It came to Nintendo Switch Online, which is also rad. Uh, yeah. If you pick Odd Job, I believe, the short one, if you pick Odd Job in multiplayer, you are a dick. Golden Guns. Pew, pew. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. I haven't played this. This was given to me by somebody. Uh, if you could tell, it is rather dirty. Like, wow, that is filthy. Ugh. Okay, anyway, yeah, I haven't played it, but it was given to me, which, thank you to the person who gave it to me. Can't remember who. I'm sorry. Paper Mario, an RPG on the Switch. This is the first Paper Mario game, and it is a lot of fun. I played it for a good couple of hours. I never beat it, but I remember enjoying it because the Paper Mario games are fun. Fun, entertaining adventures throughout Paper Land as Paper Mario. And if you, craw and if you cross him, you get a paper cut. Yeah. Pokemon Stadium. A clean copy, because it says this game pack belongs to, and there is no name. Although it would be cool to have one with a name. Because, uh, you know, that it's like shows you the history of the game. But, yeah, you get to, you could, if you have that pack that you put in the controller, I believe, you could put, you could put your Pokemon yellow, blue, green, red in it and transfer your Pokemon from that game to this. And you battle in a Pokemon Stadium. Do I have the second one? I don't. But, yeah, this is a lot of fun. Fun for its time. I remember playing it at a kiosk in an Old Navy back in the day. Yes, I believe that's what it was, an Old Navy. Can you believe it? I can, because I was there. Rampage World Tour. The Rampage games are a lot of fun. You play giant monsters, wrecking cities. You get to save one of your friends at the end of the, each level, uh, at the end of the series of levels, and you eat people, destroy buildings. It's great. As is the second one, Rampage Two Universal Tour. Again, destroy cities, eat people, save your friends at the end of the series of levels. Good stuff. A lot of fun. I remember playing this back in the day with my brother. We're on the last level. I died, and out of curiosity, I was like, "What happened if I? What happens if I unplug my controller?" And I unplugged my controller. The game froze. Yeah, 
I wasn't a smart kid. <sighs> yeah, was not smart. I'm smarter now than I was back then. You know, if I was, if I had the mindset that I have now, back in the day, I wouldn't have gone to summer school three summers in a row. But we don't talk about that, despite the fact me just talking about it. Resident Evil 2, the save battery in this is broken, but it is very impressive how they were able to cram Resident Evil 2 A, B scenarios for both characters in this little cart. But like I said, my copy, the save battery is dead. I played it, got to the sewers, I believe. Stopped playing, went to go play again. It was gone. So, uh, yeah. Although I have Resident Evil 2 on everything imaginable. Except for the GameCom. I don't have a GameCom. Do I want one? I am in the market for a retro console. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. South Park. Chefs loves Jack. When I bought this, I thought it was the South Park game where you throw snowballs at turkeys, but it is not. I believe it's a trivia game, if I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah. Based in South Park. Another M-rated... No, Resident Evil 2 was also M-rated, but another M-rated Super... Uh, Nintendo 64 game. Spider-Man. Red Cart. This game's rad. It's also available on the PS1, and I'm sure other consoles as well. But, yeah. Spider-Man on the... This Spider-Man game is dope, and I got it from a game store that is... Focus. Focus? Okay. A game store that is no longer around. Uh, but yeah. Fun. <laughs> Game's rad. Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. Another really fun game. I bought this at a flea market several years ago, and I remember having a lot of fun with it. I believe this is the first Star Wars game to be expanded universe and not take place in the, in the, well, not have characters, not have playable characters from the movies. You play an original character, this is an original story in the Star Wars universe, taking place in the episodes 4, 5, and 6, I believe, yeah. Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, I watched my, another, M hey, shit, these are M-rated, check that out, and there are more M-rated Nintendo 64 games than I thought. Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, guy dressed up. Killing dinosaurs, good stuff. I watched my brother play it back in the day. It was a lot of fun watching, and it's a lot of fun playing. Torok 2, Seeds of Evil. Evil, I said evil, evil. This game, I played the crap out of when I was a kid. I had a list of cheat codes. I put in the cheats, go to whatever level I want, infinite health, all the weapons, infinite ammo. So much fun. I, well, since I played this mostly, I like it more than the first, but that's because I played this more than any... Of the other ones. Oh shit. Check that out. Torak 3. Shadow of Oblivion. This is the one I played the least. I have no memory of this game. But. Interesting trivia for you. It is from Blockbuster Video. I miss Blockbuster. Anyway. This is the one I played the least. I don't have a lot of memories of it. If any. But uh, yeah. Torak 3. Shadow of Oblivion. And last for the loose Nintendo 64 games, this is a Nintendo 64 game that I had back in the day, and I never got rid of. I found it in my closet years ago, and I was like, hey, look at that. It's WrestleMania 2000. I played it with my uh, cousins. A lot of fun. It was, it's, a, it's, a, it's a WrestleMania 2000, from what I understand. I think this is one of the most popular wrestling games. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. It's a game I used to have. Not used to have. I had back in the day, and I never got rid of. So... This one survived the selling purge. Now, here is the one boxed Nintendo 64 game I have, and you will be surprised as to what it is. Army Man Sarge's Heroes 2. Yeah. I got this a few weeks ago from uh, from the mall near me. Army Man Sarge's Heroes 2, complete in box, as you can see. But here's something interesting for you. And it actually is complete in box. See? Here's the manual. It is complete in the box but i didn't know this the cart is green blew my mind when i bought this i put it on my shelf didn't open it because i just saw that the manual was in it and i felt the weight of the game in it but i never bothered to look the cart's green as opposed to my gray cart which i think is pretty sweet again game series needs to come back it is my childhood as i'm sure many other people's childhoods childhood yeah childhoods and uh yeah this is a fantastic game series for kids and adults because my parents used to i don't know if my parents played it but i remember my parents enjoying watching me play it uh why can't i get this closed the manual's in the way what are you doing what are we doing here get out of here manual's in the way 
I don't want to damage the manual. Okay, yeah, Army Man Sergeant's Heroes 2, complete in box. We saw the commercial for the first one back in the day, me and my family. And my mom said, ha ha, that's cute, because, you know, he puts uh, dynamite in between the Nutcracker's legs. It explodes, and he goes, <laughs> Nutcracker. Thought it was cute, and it is. The great game series. I really hope it comes back. Real combat, plastic men. No blood. Super Mario, uh, not Super Mario, Mario Kart 64, as you can see, this is a uh, different game case. It's not the official one. I got it from an eBay seller. I believe his name is Gaming Relics. He has a website as well. I recommend you check him out if you if you have loose games you need boxes for. You know, buy them from him. Yeah, Mario Kart 64. I played the crap out of this as a kid. Me, my sister, my brother. my see, Me and my sister. My sister and I, I'm sorry. Would play it. She would beat me and I would call my brother in to come in and play for me and beat her. I was a sore loser. Bite me. Whatever. Megan, if you're watching this, come bring the smoke. You're good at Mario Kart 8. But let's see if you still got it on this. Anyway, yeah. Love this game. I was a Bowser main for some reason. My brother was Toad. My sister is Yoshi. Don't know why I picked Bowser. He's slow as hell. But yeah, Mario Kart 64. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. This is not my favorite Zelda game. It is in my top five. My favorite Zelda game is coming up next. But again, it's not the actual case. But as the artwork and everything, as does the Mario Kart 64. But yeah, this game is a classic. It is a masterpiece, I will say as is the next one, but uh, yeah, I remember playing this for the first time and being blown away by it. Ah, oh, I love it. But I love this one more. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Again, not real case. I remember renting this from Blockbuster. I didn't see this. I was a kid. I didn't see this. We got back. It said, need expansion pack. I just started crying. I was like, ah, probably I would still cry today. But anyway, I was all crying, upset, and mom was on the phone. Where can I get it? Where can I get it? With Blockbuster. We went to Walmart, got one, and I fell in love with this game. This is my favorite Zelda game of all time. I don't see that changing anytime soon. And uh, yeah, a lot of people like this game. A lot of people, this is also a lot of people's favorites, and I understand why this game is fantastic. The different mask transformations, the side quests, the, ca the, side, quest, nah, the side quest with Anju and Cafe. <laughs> Man, this game is something, and I love it. And lastly, why not end with the with this classic, Super Mario 64. See? Not real case. Obviously, I've said that already. 120 stars. You get 120 stars. The cannon outside the castle unlocks. You go up, sh you shoot up to the top, get to Yoshi. He gives you 100 lives. So you can run around the levels and do whatever you want. As a kid, that was fun. As an adult, I'm like, okay, well, 100 lives, that's great. But I already beat the freaking game. Anyway. This game is magnificent. The remake on the DS is better than this, I will say. But this game is also fantastic. I love this game so much. So many memories playing it. My parents even played it. Can you imagine? And, uh, yeah. I love this game. I believe it was a launch title for it. What a game to launch with. This and Wave Race 64, I believe, were the two launch titles for the Nintendo 64. So, uh... That's it for my Nintendo 64 game collection. I figured I'd come at you with the video because it's, it's been a few days. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments what what which one of these games is your favorite, if any, which ones you have, and what memories of the Nintendo 64 do you have? I'd love to hear it. That would be good stuff. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you. Got a few more subscribers. Welcome. Love you. And uh, yeah, God bless. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Trovo, whatever you want. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Good night if you're watching this at night. Good morning if you're watching this in the morning, afternoon, evening, whatever. Don't care. Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you, and I will see you all later. Please, please, have a good day. Let me know if I should start an ASMR channel. I might. But then again, I might not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, bye. I'm going to click the button now. So I'll see you all later. Goodbye.